what has what what has got your go recently or what is something that you've been thinking about recently or what is something that's been on your mind or what is something that you want a song to be about because you want to cleanse your soul or something something deep inside yourself i say this to all of y'all you hate your boss who else oh, hates oh, their boss oh oh yeah yeah can we go with that please? you want to go with that you hate your boss who else hates I your boss <laughs> yeah all right cool 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 can we run with that can we you run with that? that i hate my boss what kind of rhythm are you feeling so, I just yeah, like I said, I'm like, straight, 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 straight. Do I hate my boss? Yo, Bridget, I hate my boss. It's like I'll wake up about quarter to six, and you know what? Straight in the mix is a fat dose of frustration. Because I've got to go to work to the occupation to the boss. He's a chancer. Every time I'm on the net, he be glancing over my shoulder, giving it a bait look. I hate my boss status on Facebook. Excuse me, uh, why are you spitting verse things? You're supposed to be working. Excuse you, boss. Yeah, in the inbox is a couple of chores, but I'm not really fussed. Listen, mate, I can't handle this. I've only ever reached middle management. Middle management is your biggest success? Well, <laughs> well, Bredgen, you must be vexed because you get no respect. You've got small man syndrome. I bet, I guess what, you don't wear the trousers when you're at home. Yeah, Mr. Big Boss, you're only the boss of me and you live and you die for your salary. Listen, uh, yeah, yes, it's true that at home I do wear the dress. I wear the nurse's uniform to be totally true. But I love my girlfriend, she's so vocal in my booth. When she's coming to test me, she steps up to me and undresses me with a big bad yeah, whip. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you got a girlfriend, Bridget, that's real damn good. But don't come to me to express your manhood. You know, this is a fact for the surety. You're my boss, that's how you get over your insecurities. Yes, well listen, I may be subject to somewhat bouts of immaturity, but nonetheless, I wear the pants round here. So get down and do 50 press-ups, you little queer. All right, 50 press-ups, what? That's how you want to go on like you're the boss? All right, uh, pressure up, so I should do it. Nah, I'm gonna switch up, I better quit. Take that, brother, I'm about to get wise. You can stuff your job, give me the P45. No JSA, you know what, I'm annoyed. Forget a boss, now that's why I'm self-employed. So if you're sitting all up in the office, you got a bad boss, tell him stop it. Up the side of his ass. Cause we really don't want to sell out to be middle class. What you slaving for? What you slaving for? What you slaving for is like straight out. Straight up, we go straight out now. Get up and walk out the door. Get up now, walk out the door. Off your swivel chair. Off that five-star chair. What are you slaving for? Yo, it's like some people live in slavery for a little bit of comfort and an HD TV. Nah, I'm not really in a that. Why give your whole life for a mortgage in a one bedroom flat? Uh-uh, I'm getting wise. Fuck this city, I'm living in the countryside. I want to teach the truth to my youth. Raise them in the Caribbean, feed them some raw fruit. Yeah, and it's too insane. People work their whole lives just so they can move to Spain. What? Man, I spit the metaphors. I don't want to freaking end up in Benidorm. No. I'd rather end up happy where I am. Standing in front of you with a mic in my hand. 